Hey everyone, I'm Howard Pinsky. As a photographer, you probably have a nice amount of photos that you'd like to show off, either to your friends or prospective clients. You can use Behance to create projects and even a pro site, but did you know that you can upload full Lightroom galleries to your Business Catalyst site? As a Creative Cloud member, you can host up to five websites on your account. Here's a basic landing page that I've been working on in Adobe Muse. I won't be going over the process of creating a website in this video, but if you'd like to learn more, the Creative Cloud Learning Center has some great videos on this subject. When a website is published from Adobe Muse, you can host it on Business Catalyst. Your first task is to choose a unique name for the website. If the name you want is already taken, a name will be suggested below. Upon pressing OK, Muse will start uploading your content and your website will be published. It's simple right now, but once we start publishing Lightroom galleries, we'll be able to add those to the website as well. When you hop back into Muse, you'll want to click on Manage. This will log you into your Business Catalyst dashboard, where in addition to viewing analytics about your viewers, you can also push your website live. This will ensure that the public is able to view it. Also, if you've purchased a custom domain name, the dashboard is where you can link it to your website. So now that the website is up and running, let's switch over to Lightroom to publish your first gallery. The galleries that you create are going to originate from your folders or collections. Without enabling any filters, all of the photos from an active collection will be included in the gallery. If you'd like to only include a few photos, place them into a new collection or utilize your filters effectively. As an example, in this collection I may only want 10 of my favorite photos to appear in this gallery. With my command or control key held down, I can click on the individual photos that I'd like to include. And then I can click on the flag icon at the top left to flag them as pics. Once you have your photos flagged, under the filters drop down, you can choose to only view photos that have been flagged. Now switching over to the web module will create a gallery containing only the photos that you filtered. Over to the left hand side of the web module, you can start by choosing a template for your gallery. Hovering your mouse over top of any of them will show you a preview at the top, and then selecting one will apply it to the gallery. I'm going to choose the Lightroom UI template. Next, over to the right you can further customize how your gallery looks, and the content that appears around it, starting with the site info. This section contains boxes to edit the title of your website, the title and description of your collection, and contact information if you wish to include it. Further down, the color palette lets you change the colors associated with your gallery, and the appearance section allows you to use your identity plate as your title, and control the size of your images and thumbnails. Finally, information about your images and output settings can be set below. Choose what's displayed for the title and caption text, the quality of the large images, and whether or not a watermark is displayed on your photos. Once you've made it through the different options, it's time to publish your gallery. Right at the bottom, under Upload Settings, we need to tell Lightroom where to upload it to. Click on Custom Settings and then choose Edit. In this window, the first option you'll want to set is the protocol. Instead of FTP, you'll want to choose SFTP, S standing for Secure. Next, under Server, enter your Business Catalyst site that I showed you how to publish a moment ago. In my case, it was howardpinsky.businesscatalyst.com. Now, for the username and password, you don't only want to use your Adobe ID. Instead, copy your server address and paste it into the username field. Add a slash, and then enter your Adobe ID. Finally, enter the password that's associated with your Adobe ID in the password field to the right. Once all that's in place, you can store your password in the preset, which can be created under the preset dropdown. I'll name this Photo Site, and then press OK to save the server information. Before you upload the gallery, you may want to change the folder that it's uploaded to. The name should be relevant to the photos that you're uploading and easy to remember. Now it's time to upload. Hitting that upload button for the first time may display a warning that Lightroom doesn't recognize the host key. Don't panic if you see this message, everything is okay. Accept the key and give Lightroom a few seconds to complete the upload. You can watch the progress of the upload at the top left corner of the application. And it's done. Let's head back to our web browser to see how it looks. Because this was tied to the Business Catalyst site, I can enter the full URL which I still have copied, followed by the subfolder that I set, making sure to follow it off with a final slash. And here's the gallery containing all the photos that I chose in Lightroom. To finish off this video, I'm going to add this gallery to my website, which I created in Adobe Muse. 
First, I want to copy the URL of my newly created gallery, and then hop back into Muse. To add a link to an existing navigation bar, first click the bar to select it, and then click one more time to select the individual link. You'll see a plus button to the right of the selected link. If you click on this plus button, it will add a new link to the right, which can then be expanded by dragging on the handle. Once you have it the size that you want it, click on the new link twice to edit the text. And now we can assign the link to a new gallery. Switch over to the selection tool at the top, and then click on the Add or Filter Links dropdown. In the field that appears, paste the URL to the new gallery that you just created. And that will add your new Lightroom created gallery to your website, created in Adobe Muse, hosted with Business Catalyst. Once you republish your changes, your new gallery will be visible to all of your viewers. Thanks for watching.